How did you guys meet Gucci Man? And how did Gucci's all that... a street nigga. He just be outside all the time and shit. You feel me? Gucci like was like a, a jack boy, part time jack boy, part time dope dealer, part time rapper. G- Gucci was a flash man. I knew Gucci before I knew Jeezy. You know what I'm saying? So Gucci used to always be in the clubs and shit. Gucci already be in the club on the wall looking at niggas with a drink and shit with his hat down and shit like that. Trying to get him a victim. You feel me? And, you know, he was cool. Meech knew him. He was cool. And he even used to try to get down with the mob. But Meech was telling niggas like, nah, man, that nigga be out here robbing niggas and shit. You feel me? We can't have no niggas that's known robbers getting down with the shit. It wasn't like he was just no robber, but niggas know that he gonna get down on the nigga. You feel me? Type shit. So me just kind of wasn't doing that at the time. So we he always been a friendly, you know what I'm saying? Always been the homie. So when they made so icy, we was promoting Jeezy. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. And we got Blue Da Vinci, a member of the Black Mafia family, speaking on why Gucci Man was never a part of BMF. It should be obvious. Anybody that knows Gucci Man knows that he's a loose cannon. I mean, all you gotta do is type in Gucci Man Crazy Moments on YouTube. I'm sure enough will pop up for you. You know, in this clip, he mentioned that he was a robber, a jack boy. And you know, as they say, there's no loyalty amongst thieves. So, you know, you can't have people like that in a group. If you're out here getting money, that's never gonna be successful. I mean, not to say that he's, you know, not tightened up now, but before that last prison bed, Gucci Man was out here wilding. He definitely changed, though. You know, he proved over time that, you know, he became a better person, became a father, got married, you know, etc. So he's definitely doing his thing now. But back then, boy was wilding. He had an anthem for kicking doors, uh, kick a door. You know, you can YouTube that. So obviously he was on that Jack Boy shit. And that doesn't work when you, you know, trying to put dudes together to get money. So back in the day, everybody wanted to be a part of BMF. That's just a fact. Anybody that was around the early 2000s that was out getting money doing their thing, they wanted to be part of the crew. That's the only time we'll probably ever see something like that. You know, we'll probably never see nothing like that again in our lifetime. So, you know, just got to appreciate it for what it is. But anyway, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.